carry is 214.8 yards. What? Ready. Wait, hang on. 214 yards? Look at that. Hi guys, welcome back and thanks again for tuning in. This is James from Bunketeer and we are on the wonderful 13th hole at the Hills Course at Infinitum Golf, where today we're gonna to be testing out the Cobra Forge Tech X irons. First impressions. Now, Cobra say these are a game improvement iron. However, they don't look like a game improvement iron at all. They've got a very, very nice player shape to them. Obviously with a game improvement iron, you, you tend to see quite a lot of cavity, obviously giving you a lot more forgiveness. These are, you know, they are a hollow body construction as well and do have that forgiveness, but it's just got more of a player shape to them. They look fantastic. So without further ado, let's dive in to the tech. Okay, so let's talk about what you can see. Now, obviously here you have the weight in the toe. That's just gonna give you the stability um, through, through impact. Now you've got the little PWR shell, which is the face here. So it's nice and thin, nice flexible face, giving you super fast ball speeds and forgiveness across the whole face as well. Now what you can see is there's 65 grams of tugspin in the back here which is just gonna give you better feel, better center of gravity, just all around getting that ball into there with ease. And the other thing is, obviously these are an X. Now what that is, the lofts are slightly stronger. Um, so you would expect the ball to come out a little bit lower. With that weight in the back, it actually gets the ball in the air and keeps the spin down. So you get unbelievable distance with them as well. So. We're gonna give these a hit, we're gonna try them, and we're gonna obviously set up the flight scope, Pro V1s, and give you all the data with these clubs. All right, so we're gonna hit a couple shots, get some data, and see, see what the numbers say. So obviously with the nine iron, we're gonna start with, um, and hit a few shots, and, and see how, how we go. So. My line is going to be that furthest bunker in the distance beside the green. So let's start it down there and, and see what kind of distances uh, we get. Now these are standard lengths, so for me they're a little bit shorter, which is probably why I look like a giant. That was 171. But very easy to hit. Okay, so the distance is very consistent off of those three. Um, with the nine iron, 173. Ball speed is really consistent, wow. So 102.3, 102.3, and then 102.4. <laughs> so very consistent ball striking. Um, ball speeds vary a little bit. Even on the miss hit, it was still 130, and the fastest one being 133. Launch is good, spins are good as well. Um, yeah, really impressive actually. Hugely forgiving. They come off and they feel amazing. Seven hour now, um, same thing, gonna hit three shots, look at the data, see what the flight scope's saying, um, and see the kind of distances that we get and see if there's any which I kind of, you know, miss hit a little bit, see how it reacts off the club face. Target is that green side bunker, so let's try and, try and start it down that line. Uh, a bit left. Carry is 214.8 yards. What? Wait, hang on. 214 yards, flipping neck. Okay. So the stronger lofts are definitely giving me more distance. That, 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 is, that is for sure. 214 yards with the seven iron. Okay, that is just outrageous. That won't be. <laughs> so I hit that one fat, and it was the best part of 60 yards shorter than the, than, than the previous one. Let's try and actually hit the ball first instead of drop kick it like Johnny Wilkinson. Okay, 207 yards. That one was a slight miss hit. I kind of blocked it a little bit. But if we compare the two, which were actually hit out the middle of the club. The difference was only seven yards. The first one is defi definitely a lot 
a lot better struck. And I would say, you know, the second one, I just hit the ground. So you're obviously gonna see a massive reduction in distance there as well. But the spins are great, the distance good, the ball speed is fantastic. 150 miles an hour with a seven iron, um, which is insane. Um, incredibly impressive. The distance that you get is, is unbelievable. So now I'm gonna hit the five iron. The seven iron went 214 yards, which is just ridiculous. Um, but it just proves that the ball speed off the face is just amazing and the distance you get is brilliant so we'll hit the five iron and hopefully hopefully we don't run out of fairways that has gone miles right <laughs> and it's gone 230 odd yards which is insane so the first the first one i hit i kind of blocked out a little bit so that one, it was 230 yards with the five iron, but it just shows you that, you know, the lofts are, the lofts are playing a big part in that as well. Uh, the second one didn't quite catch, but still went 220. The last and final one, which I hit down the middle was 225 yards, but the ball speeds are hugely consistent. Again, even, even off the slight miss hits, 156 and 153 as well. And then the swing speeds, 111, 110, 113 with the five iron and the spin rates again, very low which is why the ball is obviously going so far uh, as well but overall the forgiveness the ball speed the distance that you're getting off of these is it is unbelievable dispersion is quite tight as well it's just very consistent i know i've hit a couple off to the right down there but they've both pretty much landed on top of each other and then i've had the third one which has gone right down the middle perfect position for the next shot so we've got about 100 150 yards to the flag that view behind the flag is absolutely incredible so hopefully i can do this shot justice so we'll try and hit a little a little fade a little knockdown fade nope double cross it and probably hit it about 20 yards too far the thin high just pulled it ever so slightly left just get up and down up and down for bar just miss missed the green to the left seems to be a recurring problem of mine at the minute so we're just gonna try and get this one as close as possible Oh, I've just absolutely millered that way too far. But we still have a putt for par. Okay, so there we have it. Um, obviously that was a fun, a fun little hole on the 13th to play with the Cobra four check X's. Now, who are they for? Um, they're packed full of so much forgiveness. The distance you get is incredible as well. I mean, and the consistency in speed off of miss hits across the face is superb. Um, if you're wanting, I mean, a player improvement iron, which has a player shape to it, these are phenomenal. So if you're wanting to step away and find something which is a little bit slimmer rather than being a little bit chunky, these are a fantastic option to have. So I would say for your mid to higher handicappers, these are going to be incredible. And even from your mid to low handicappers as well, if you want to make the game a little bit easier for yourself, these are going to be a fantastic option as well. So just want to say a big thank you again to Infinitum Golf for having us here at the Hills Golf Course. Obviously, it's so picturesque. There's so much going on. There's a black cat standing over there and you've got this beautiful scenery behind us as well. So I want to say a big thank you for everyone at home for tuning in as per usual. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel.